Well, we're back in the attic. We are. You have something. I have something. We're still doing <laughs> large-scale rolling stock, but this is some really special mm -hmm. large-scale rolling stock. Um, for quite some time, there was really nothing decent available in a passenger car. And uh, AMS uh, AccuCraft came out with, I mean, it was brass, but a lot of money. But AMS, uh, after they released their initial uh, freight cars and so on, released uh, a, uh, a passenger car. Okay. A pretty darn nice passenger car. And then subsequently, they released uh, a combine oh. version of it. At any rate, this monster right here wow. is... Uh, um. Is one of the it's one of those the passenger cars it's a jackson and sharp coach mm. which was uh, used on the real grand now let's see if we can get this out of here as we've pointed out before in a lot of this large scale stuff well they've got it cemented in there if it's not really well packaged it'll break right and, and uh, these always make me nervous every time he takes one out of the box for that very reason so Unboxing these guys. You go that way and I'll go this way. There you go. Down. Okay. This one doesn't have the usual split apart styrofoam. Right, which is which maybe tore the brake there. rigging off our tank car when right. we tried to, you know. <sighs> yeah. So I kind of prefer this. It's got the, the clear window mm -hmm. on the there and then I think it's a little bit easier. It fits to, in there a little uh, more secure. Oh, there's tape on the side, too. Yeah. So you still have to... Fandangle it. Fandangle the tape. I don't see a cutting instrument anywhere. Oops. Jeez. You get the first one going, the second one's much easier. Well, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'll tell you the backstory on this as I as always, there's a backstory. I heard that they were doing these, and I called up Hans and I said, "Are you pre-ordering?" <laughs> and he said, "Yes." And I said, "I want four of them <laughs> in different numbers because I wanted to put together a, a passenger train." Yeah. And uh, so I've got four of these with four different numbers. Wow. And then I got the idea that I would scratch build a bunch of my own too. So at this point, I've got <laughs> uh, six different passenger cars that are more or less ready to run and uh, <laughs> three under construction. There's one of those that's an absolute favorite of mine, but you've got to go back and watch Toy Man to see that to one. To see that one. Oh my gosh. Here it we... would be nice to be able to get some of these things out without destroying them in the process. In the process. Um, they need the Mission Impossible uh, dun, stuff, you know, dun, the self-destruct, yeah. not the model itself. Got to figure out what exactly what comes out. I think you've got another wad up here in place. Mm -hmm. Man, if we can get a hold of the plastic, is that maybe. what we're gonna do? Is there plastic too? There's oh a my. plastic outer wrapper that might facilitate. Maybe that's uh, what it's for. Even those ribbon things, just, like battery compartments, have it's tearing the plastic. Oh my! <laughs> Good grief! They've got it like nailed in there. I swear. There's something that's stuck over here. An inch at a time. There we are. Wow. Boy. <sighs> and here it is, finally, in all of its plastic wrapped yes. glory. Whoa. A few bags of silica that's gel. That's probably what's holding it in place. Is the silica gel? Wow! Look at that. That was worth the anticipation they had right some, there. Some little wedges in there that I pulled the wedges out first thing. In had a spite wedge of that fact. <laughs> um, anyway, finally. Yes. There it is. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, it's just such an amazing. Oh, look at this chairs it's inside. It's got all chairs. And I bought, oh, something like 100 of these chairs extra. And they sold them to me. They were very happy to do it for my own scratch built cars. Uh, is that the bathroom? That's the banyo, yes. Huh. It's got really nice end sill 
detail. Oh my. But one of the things that just really blows me away are the incredibly detailed wheel trucks, the passenger wheel that. trucks. I worked so hard oh. on getting my wheel trucks looking right on the ones I was building. Uh huh. And these come out and it's like pfft. Okay, we're done. Yeah, well, there just you go. Buy it all ready to go. There you go. That is awesome. And um uh, I will say that uh, Hartford products, uh, uh, Dave in Cedar City, um, makes an excellent wheel truck. It's about 100 bucks just for the wheel truck, something like that. Wow. Um, and they'll sell these wheel trucks separately, too. Mm. Uh, but you can almost buy the, the whole car. But wow. Anyway, it's really nice. I got a heck of a deal on these from Hans mm -hmm. by buying four of them months before they were available. Look at um, that. I cannot remember. I paid something around 600 bucks for all four of them, mm. something like that. Wow. Which was a really good deal. And I don't regret it at all. No. Just really neat. And I'm really looking forward to actually having a large scale railroad mm -hmm. to run it on. Yes. Because we, we haven't. Uh, all this stuff got packed up when I was in California mm -hmm. and moved to Utah and started a YouTube channel. And on and on and on and on and on and on and on. The rest is in history. And these have been boxed up yes. ever since. Never right. out of the box since I bought them from Hans. Right. But how beautiful That's it is. That's really awesome. That. Is that just neat? Wow. And I want to uh, attempt, if I can set this down. Careful very carefully mm -hmm. to show you one of the ones and, and we did a show on these they're insanely heavy oh my favorite these Darn, are he gave so away. heavy yeah um but um i i scratch built these two cars entered one in the narrow gauge convention and won a great prize there and best passenger car and so on and uh, totally detailed them out. And, and these are those wheel trucks I worked so hard on. Um, That's just, wow. But I, you know, and they look, they look really good. I'm not gonna hold up the other car too, but they look uh, mm. really good together. And then- uh, The inside, I love the- The, the fun here was- <laughs> I actually oh. like the video you did on Jeb. this before. Jeb, yeah, there's Jeb. Jeb is on the loose and he's missing his suitcase too. So. <laughs> But uh, this is the uh, the car that was destroyed in uh, Butch Cassidy and yes. the Sundance Kid. I yes. wanted to model that one. Well. But uh, it's got uh, a fairly extensive interior going for it. And uh, this is the one that I entered in the narrow gauge convention. And uh, it needs a little a little bit of repair. There's yeah. a There's few little few little things it. that are on the loose. Right. Uh, I was especially happy with how the the running gear exactly. turned out. Right. It just really came out nice. <laughs> and uh, all yes. of all of the little yeah. interior. That's just fun. Details and and your and everything. <laughs> and my uh, brake hose just came off. Oh well, there that's you go. that's the nature of this. Put Jeb to work, and he can get it fixed. Things are things have been sort of damaged and moving around, and they need a lot of. It. The other car is the short RPO. Yes. And the railings have come loose, and uh, we've got some. The lights are all ripped to loose. Do. Everything. This this one, the lighting and everything, still all good. It's anyway, good. there it is. It, it now needs its <laughs> brake hose reattached. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel. Pop on over to the channel, and if you're not a subscriber, here comes the blue button. Are we ready, ready for it? So join right there, blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you on Sunday. Right. Because we'll, we'll be driving around. See you then. <laughs> see you. Bye-bye.